Jason Rios started his screen printing business first at trade shows and then pop up markets. And then around 2014, he set up shop right here on Bagley in the heart of Mexican town. Because I grew up around the corner. I mean, literally like two blocks away from here. And despite a temporary closure during the pandemic, some abandoned orders and ongoing supply chain kinks, he's seen a light at the end of the COVID tunnel, so to speak. Business is starting to pick up again. This all started as a passion project for Rios, who's mostly self-taught on top of having natural talent for art. So once I got good at it, a lot of people started asking me to do their orders, their, their shirts, um, and then it became a service. Somebody asked me, can I do 500 shirts? And I'm like, uh, yeah, I think I can. His first official order, still a loyal customer to this day. When the Southwest Detroit Business Association took a look at the business landscape several years back, they noticed something pretty special. We looked at the Dun and Bradstreet data and we realized that we had more entrepreneurs than uh, downtown and midtown. The interim president and CEO says many immigrant run businesses, which in Southwest Detroit are largely Hispanic, represent generational commitments, sons and daughters taking over for their parents and perhaps reinventing the business at the same time. Right now, they're working with older entrepreneurs to help them boost their social media presence, something younger business owners seem to have jumped to naturally during COVID. I find everything myself, and then our handmade stuff are actually made by people that I know personally. Lana Rodriguez launched Mama Coo's Boutique a little more than five years ago in Corktown. It's not a generational business, but it has important family symbolism, starting with its name. Growing up, my grandfather used to call me Mama Koo. And its location. Her grandparents happened to live in this building decades ago. During the height of COVID, Lana moved some of her inventory in her 400 square foot shop outside for sidewalk sales. She's open inside once again with limited hours and capacity. Lana, who is Mexican American, finds one of a kind pieces all over the country and often from markets in Mexico too. Each piece speaks to her. We keep an inventory that reflects us, how I grew up, the city. Both Rios and Rodriguez hope for and see expansion for their businesses in the future. Rios says his flagship store though will always be on Bagley. In Southwest Detroit, I'm Jen Chance for 7 Action News.